What's up dear viewer, on the month of June, uh, where all the companies decide to change their logo, I'm here to show you how you can make your UV maps straight, efficient and effective, right? So that you can get more resolution to work with, you can get more texture density on each area and you can use the whole UV square, right, to its fullest potential. So let's begin. Here I have one uh, set of one set of bands. And if I set the uh, wireframe, you can see this is the low poly pants, which is the retopology of the high poly simulation. So I'm going to work with this one. I'm going to do the UVs from scratch. I'm going to make the UV straight, efficient and squared, right? And I'm going to do the bake for this one. And I'm also going to show you more examples of uh, different assets, especially garments uh, where you can use straight UVs, right? So to start off with, I'm just going to hide this one right here. And you can already see I have put seam marks in here. So uh, what I usually do is I usually pick up some seam lines or you can say pick up some edge loops, which are, uh, you know, so that I can work with the least amount of seam lines, giving me a complete unwrap. Okay. So for this one, the seam line, which is uh, underneath the pants, and one edge loop on the back side, right? So I have marked the seam in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my UV editing window, select everything. And as you can see, the UV is completely reset, hit you and hit unwrap. Okay, so this is what the default UVs are going to give us, right? Now, to be clear, this kind of UV is perfectly fine, uh, even though uh, it is a little bit of not a little bit, I mean, it's completely uh, uh, weirdly shaped and curved, but working with these kind of UV is completely fine. But the problem is I'm leaving a lot of texel area in here, right? This area can be used for a lot of stuff. Now, granted, uh, when you are working with any kind of asset, it won't be that you will be only using uh, one asset for the whole area. There will be multiple asset. But for now, let's consider that we don't have any more assets to work with. And this is the band and we are getting a 2048 texture budget and I'm going to use it to the fullest, right? So let me just undo everything. Okay, I guess I cannot undo the handwriting or annotations. How can I delete it? There it is. Okay, so let me delete the annotations. So I'm here to work with this one. So first thing first, I will suggest to download a plugin, which is called text tools in here. This is a free plugin. Uh, you can download it from GitHub or Blender marketplace, right? So once you downloaded this one, it basically gives you some tools, which are similar to Maya, uh, mostly the snapping tools and stuff. It doesn't work exactly the same. I mean, the snapping tools work, works exactly the same, but everything else they have a little bit of, you know, difference on how they work uh, compared to Maya. Also, I can also use Maya, but I'm not using it because Autodex products are a little bit more unstable than the people who dye their hair blue. But hey, uh, I'm working with Blender. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two vertices right here, pull them up so that it gets closer to the upper X axis. Next, I'm going to select this vertex right here, select this vertex here. Uh, I'm selecting this one because this is like connected to the Y axis. Select this, uh, I don't know, whatever button this is, align vertex to left, I guess, whatever it may be. And it aligns the vertex this way. Same with this one, right? But I'm going to align it to the right. So now when we have this, I can hit P so that I can pin the vertices, right? Also for this one, I'm going to align it to downwards direction. Same for this vertex right here. So the idea is that I'm going to, you know, make a shape which resembles uh, some kind of square that is covering uh, all the uh, all the textile textile area, and I'm going to, you know, move the uh, move all of the other vertex accordingly. So now I'm going to use a tool that uh, very rarely people use in Blender to uh you know work with uvs and this is the relax tool right 
So what it does, it, it just relaxes, as the name suggests, right? It just relaxes all the UV island, but it ignores every pinned uh, vertex, right? So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, before that, I guess I'm also going to work with this vertex right here because I'm getting two distinct curve from here to here. Same with this one. So I'm going to select this one, select this one, hit end, snap it, pin it, same with this, snap it, pin it. And since I have a different curvature on this area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this to a little bit inside, right? Now, uh, select the relax tool and just go on, paint on, uh, you know, relax the UVs as much as, as I can. Uh, all right, so there it is. So as of now, as you can already see, I have relaxed some of the areas of the UVs. I haven't touched this area right here. And uh, I guess this area right here because I'm going to fix them later on, right? So the reason why I relax only these areas is because I wanted the, uh, the span of these vertex, right? The span of these vertices to be evened out along this edge. Right, because uh, I want the density to be evened out for these vertices. So now it's been done and I'm going to select this edge loop right here and just snap it. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit pin. Same thing I'm gonna do here. Snap it, pin it. Same for here. I'm not going to touch this area because uh, you know it's already uh, straight enough, I guess and I don't really need to pin anything on this side. So next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the midpoint on this section, right? The way to do is, is to uh, change the sync type. So basically uh, when I change it, uh, when I click on this icon right here, uh, this tool is going to get disabled. But when I select anything on the mesh, the same vertex is going to get selected on the UV island. So this seems to be the center point and this seems to be the center vertex. So select the center edge, you're gonna uh, find out the center vertex. And now I'm going to move it. The reason why I'm trying to move it is because if I uh, see uh, the band from the front view and I select this area right here, you can see that this is already a kind of a V thing coming on right here which I don't really want uh, because uh, this will lead to a little bit of stretching, not a little bit, but a lot of stretching on the uh, UV island. So what I'm trying to do is I'll select this one and move it a little bit upwards. Okay, before that, I'm going to unsync the UVs again. I'm going to move it a little bit upward, just this vertex right here. Okay, just to uh, the center point of this line. So somewhere around here, right? Delete the annotations and one more thing that I'm uh, finding in here that this area, uh, the density of the vertex in this region of the edge is much less than the density in here. So I guess I made a mistake. I have also, you know, pulled this a bit more downwards. This thing needs to be a little bit higher up here, right? And as so I'll move this one a little bit up. I'm going to deselect these vertices right here. Hit Alt P to unpin them. Unpin them, sorry. Uh, right, but hey, uh, I mean, uh, this needs to be already pinned, right? Just make sure that you unpin only those vertex that you want to relax smooth. Select the relax button and there we have it. Now it's much better, right? The density is uh, relatively much more evened out for the vertex in this area and for the vertex in this area. So yeah, after the relaxation of the UVs, I find myself on this place. You can already see some overlapping in here, uh, some weird shapes in here. So for this one, it's an easy fix. I'm just going to snap it um, on this direction. And I'm going to bring I'm going to bring these two vertices 
a bit more closer to the center axis so for me this is the center axis right now okay I bought them a bit more closer I'm going to pin these two right here again with the relax brush I'm going to relax everything So yeah, uh, there we have it. Uh, this is much better result than what we had before. This area is still uh, a little bit of messed up. So very soon I'm going to fix this one. To do that, what I'm going to do is select this whole thing, every, every vertex on the border, pin them, right? And I'm gonna select this edge, pin them. Then I'm gonna select everything, hit you and hit unwrap. This way, this thing is gonna get a bit relaxed and after hitting unwrap, if you are getting uh, some kind of distortion or some kind of overlap, that is a sign to move this vertex right here a little bit more downwards. Okay. So there we have it. Select it again. Hit you unwrap. Okay. So this is a bit better result than what we have, but I can move it a little bit more downwards. Okay. So this is the sweet spot, right? So now that when we have it, I can select this vertex right here move it a little bit this side okay let me just unwrap it once again uh, select the adjacent vertex select the vertex at the end and i'm gonna snap it again the same with this one snap again select everything hit you hit unwrap and as you can already see we are getting some stretchings in here so i can unpin this area right here this method requires a little bit of patience uh, because of course we are trying to get the most efficient, most efficiency out of our UVs, the most resolution, uh, the density out of our UVs, right? So again, uh, good things takes time, right? So just relax it a little bit more. Select these uh, edges right here, hit pin, select everything, hit you, hit unwrap, and there you have it, right? Just a little bit more relaxation in here. Okay, so now I already have a material which have a UV map applied to it. So I'm gonna select the material and select the uh, material preview mode. And as you can already see, this is not bad considering that we have stretched uh, the UVs to its limits. Uh, and even after doing that, I'm getting really great squares or you can say really great texture density or textile density in here and it's pretty much evened out i'm getting a little bit more rectangular in here compared to what i'm getting in here which is like a proper square uh, this thing is really uh, way better and it uses way more texture space than what we had before right also i can like you know eradicate the rectangle uh considering I can just rescale it a little bit in here and hit P and scale it maybe a little bit stretch it up that should do shouldn't be a problem okay there it is so this is uh, one way of doing it uh, this is specifically for the example of the pants and if I just increase the size of the UVs you can already see the textile density is pretty much fine you know they are almost squares, uh, if not like extreme rectangles on the on the end side. But yeah, there you have it. This is the method that I always use to uh, you know make my UVs right. Uh, it's it's completely optimized. It's completely usable, uh, and there are a few advantages of doing it this way. Uh, one of the thing is uh, not just the bakes are gonna be really great, but but. You can, uh, let's say for example, if you are trying to put a straight line on this area, or you can uh, say you want to put a straight line on this area, you don't really have to go into Substance Painter or any kind of texturing software to, you know, draw wiggly lines following uh, this specific uh, edge loop. You can just go into Substance, uh, which I'm going to uh, show you in a moment, and just, you know, draw a straight line, and that's it you know you, you got you got yourself a good seam line or a good seam texture in there okay uh i'm going to show you a little bit uh more of this example 
So this is another character that I'm working on right now. And I've used this method for everything. So say for example, the pants. So the pants is a special case scenario for this one. You can already see in here that I've got multiple uh, islands in here. And the reason for this is if I just hide this one, I made it in such a way that there are, you know, uh, some garments which are like going inside of the pants, right? So that's the reason why there are, you know, multiple UV islands. And again, as you can see, they are like completely straight. Uh, I'm going to put more on these remaining areas. That might be the belts that I'm making in here, right? I'm, uh, I haven't like arranged the UVs right now, but I'm going to do it later. And I'm going to put uh, these belts or you can say these belts somewhere on this these areas, right? Same for here, uh, same for here, same for this shirt right here. And as you can see, they are, uh, you know, extremely straight, uh, taking as much textile density as they can. Also, uh, let me just remind you that this method cannot be used on everything, but it can be used on most of the things that you do, most of the assets uh, they can be straightened out uh, for the UVs, right? Okay, uh, for the next step, I'm going to move into Substance Painter, right? And I'm going to uh, do a quick bake on this pants. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you uh, some painting methods. All right, so I am in Substance right now and I have done a quick bake. And you, as you can already see, this looks, this bake looks pretty clean, right? And uh, you can already see in here. And the thing is, this is just a 1K bake, right? So if I go into my baking option, you can already see the output size is 1P. So this bake is not even that high resolution. But if I go into 2K, right? And just give it a moment to bake. And there you have it, right? So this is, uh, the bakes are not stretched at all. And you can already see, uh, I'm getting pretty clean results in here. Just don't mind these sharp edges because these sharp edges are not really polygons, but... Uh, as you can see in here, the, these are basically the uh, the simulation lines or uh, what I can say is uh, the mesh lines of the uh, inner body that I used, uh, right? But yeah, uh, like Substance Painter, there you have it. Uh, the bakes are completely fine, right? And what I'm going to do now is just draw some lines over here, right, on the UV map. Change this to UV and change this to texture. Right, and as you can see, you can like draw on the UVs. You do not really have to uh, figure out, uh, you know, what place you want to take the seam into. I'll also show you with uh, some kind of stitching uh, paintbrush. Uh, this video uh, is a bit longer than I expected, so bear with me. Right, so I've got some stitch brush right here. And, okay, I just forgot to do this, UV and texture. There it is, right? For this one too. I don't know which is this. Okay, this is basically the other side of the mesh. But yeah, I guess uh, I made my point clear here, right? Uh, you can, uh, I hope you learned something from this video. And I hope that you find a better way to make your UVs completely straight, make your uh, texture a bit more high resolution uh, than what they used to be so that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you enjoyed it give it a like share it with your friends again i won't ask for any kind of subscription because i do not upload uh, regularly but i'll see you in next tutorial peace out